The Ops Jason Fraley reviews Spiderhead Joseph Kaczynski has already directed the hit of the summer with Top Gun, Maverick. His new sci-fi thriller, Spiderhead, which drops on Netflix Friday, is a thematically thought-provoking but overly familiar addition to the genre of Black Mirror and ex -Ma. One inmate, Jeff, Miles Teller, begins to question the reality of his emotions after being tested for drugs that generate instant eloquence, romance and paranoia. It's refreshing to see Hemsworth outside of 4, but it's double-edged, it works when he plays jocks like in Rush, 2013, but feels unrealistic that a scientist would be this ripped, even if he does exercise by sparring with his assistant. Oscar Isaac was more believable in Ex Machina, but Hemsworth at least lends charm to his drug addict scientist antagonist. The protagonist is more believably cast as Teller, who burst onto the scene in Whiplash, 2014, and is having a heck of a year as the lead in the miniseries The Offer, 2022, and sidekick in Top Gun, Maverick. In Spiderhead, he's admirably self-deprecating, deeming himself a five-tenths on the hand. His character development comes through interactions with fellow inmates, best friend Lizzie, Journey Smollett, Lovecraft Country, Sex Experimenter Heather, Tess Halbrick, Treadstone, and Tattooed Boot Trogan, Nathan Jones, Mad Max, Fury Road, as well as voicemails for the girlfriend he left. Which criminal acts did each inmate commit to land themselves in this prison lab? That's the juicy mystery of the script, based on George Saunders' short story Escape from Spiderhead and adapted by screenwriters Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who provide flashes of the humor that they brought to Zombieland, 2009, and Deadpool, 2016. In addition to well-timed flashbacks of the characters' backstories, the screenplay does a formidable job of peeling back the onion of the lab itself, dropping hints in the names of the various chemicals and planting key information in the letters and numbers on each file. Unfortunately, these breadcrumbs build to an ultimate twist that isn't really shocking in the way that, say, Chinatown, 1974, reveals its sinister family subplot amid a massive conspiracy to control the water and power grid of Los Angeles. Spiderhead could have aimed higher, but instead settles for something smaller that we saw coming all along. Kaczynski directs with kinetic energy, particularly in flashbacks of partying and cruising, 